Hi there. Now if you watched the previous video, I tackled this part of the question, part A, where we had to use the binomial expansion to show that the root of 1 plus x all divided by 1 minus x was approximately the same as 1 plus x plus a half x squared for values of x, the modulus of x, that is, being less than 1. Now in part B, we're asked to substitute x equals 1 26th into this answer to obtain an approximation to root 3. And give your answer in the form a over b, where a and b are integers for 3 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment then to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Although you might want to fast forward... Okay then, welcome back if you had a go. So all I've got to do then is substitute x equaling 1 26th into what we've got here. So putting it in the left hand side, first of all, we've got the square root then of 1 plus 1 26th, all divided by 1 minus 1 26th. We'll clean this part up in a moment, but we're told that this is going to be roughly then the same as 1 plus, and in place of x then we've got 1 26th, and then we've got plus a half of 1 26th all squared. So cleaning this up, you could do it on your calculator I suppose, but it is quite easy. If you times top and bottom by 26, you're going to get here 26 plus 1. So you're going to end up with the square roots then of 27. And here you'll have 26 minus 1, which will be 25. I think it's quicker just to do it like that than just enter it into your calculator. But for this side, I'm just going to enter that into the calculator. And if you do, you'll end up with the fraction 1,405 all over 1,352. Now the square root of 27 is the same as doing the square root of 9 times 3. Well, the square root of 9 is 3, and then it will be just multiplied by root 3. So that's looking encouraging, since we've got to work towards root 3. Square root of 25, well that's 5, so we've got 3 root 3 then over 5, which again then is approximately the same then as 1405 then all over 1352. And so if I just multiply both sides by 5 and divide both sides by 3, I end up with root 3 then being approximately the same as 5 thirds multiplied with that fraction, 1405, all divided by 1352. And if you do that on your calculator, you end up with root 3 then. And remember, we need to keep this as a fraction, okay, not a decimal. So uh, what you end up with is 7025 divided by 4,000 and 56. Okay.